Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Fortnite video here on the channel. Today, we are going over Salty Springs, the new Fortnite OG season, the big differences and changes that have occurred in Salty since the new map has launched, and sort of going over all the story beats so far that seem to have been occurring on these different POIs in Fortnite. If you guys have been enjoying the Fortnite content on the channel, leave a like on the video, consider subscribing if you're new, and of course, using creator code ALTUNIT17 in the Fortnite item shop, or if you plan on getting Fortnite crew or the Battle Pass. Guys, let's get into Salty Springs springs and the changes that have occurred and the fact that i only have one minute and 40 seconds to do this let's do it so if you guys have been playing in any of the name locations you have no you may have noticed that things are not as they appear this is meant to be the map that has occurred around the times of fortnite chapter one seasons four five and maybe six however you might notice that none of the cataclysmic events like the rocket or kevin the cube have actually occurred yet but things on the map are actually stating as if they are it's a bit of a time travel thing that's happening here and if you guys have been following the story with sloan and jonesy you'll know that it's very similar to the plot of loki if you guys have been watching the loki marvel show it's pretty much the same thing where the timeline is not the same and we're meant to find the key differences one major difference that has changed of course is the reboot bands there's one right in the middle of salty springs you guys are used to seeing it but another major change is this car crash if you guys know the original salty springs at the very start did not have car crashes yet there was not some thing set up here as if there was a car crash this is something that occurred much later but it is here as if this is part of the timeline that has already experienced some of these events the road is blocked off here as well you will see and that is something that was not in the original salty at the start which is very mysterious and i believe one of these houses actually has their secret undercover base in it i forget exactly which house it is but i remember actually finding it i think it might be the one up here and again you'll know that that is something that was not in the original salty that was something that was added much later yeah it's this one right here i believe that this was something that you found after a certain point in time at salty this is one of the undercover bases from the secret organization that was monitoring the map in chapter one which we later found out was the io i believe but yeah this is here all set up and this was not here at the beginning of chapter one you also notice there is a rift here which is even more mysterious and this isn't the only poi that has these types of changes or alterations to the map i've already went over the changes and at pleasant park and tilted towers i recommend watching those videos if you're curious but yeah if you go to any name location right now in chapter one i will guarantee you'll find at least one thing that is not as it is meant to be and i think that is very intentional for the story right now because guys they're trying to write this narrative of sure we time travel back to chapter one and we're around the points of maybe season four season five but it's actually not going to play out the same way. Not only is it not going to play out the same way in terms of the cataclysmic events, but also the things that we're finding around the map are not the same either. And that is very much intentional for the story. And also it adds to some fun gameplay experience because you're, you're thinking your mindset is, okay, it's going to play out exactly how it did in chapter one around this time. The loot is all the exact same. Like this house wasn't built around that time. I remember this was added much later and there's even a car tipped over from one of the events. So it's pretty important to note that these changes are occurring and have changed the course of the island and what is most likely going to be the big event at the end of the season. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if there's any other locations you have noticed that have had one of these major changes and differences, I can tell you Dusty Div is for sure one of them. And I do plan on making at least one or two more of these location guides on the channel today, but that's going to be it unless you guys specifically think I should make another guide on a spot. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't done so already, consider please leaving a like on the video, subscribing if you're new, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.